Hey guys, today we're going to build a neon sign using Affinity Designer. I post two tutorials like this per week, so please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Alright, let's get started. Here I am on dafont.com. It's quite important to pick a correct font before you even start working on neon sign. So. I'm going to search for font for this project. I think I'm going to pick this one, Neon Sans. All right, so get yourself a nice neon looking font before we start. Here I am inside Affinity Designer. We need dark backdrop. So I'm going to use a rectangle for that. Let's modify the color of this rectangle, something darker, very dark gray color. All right, and now we can rescale that to cover entire artboard. We can also lock this whole layer, so we will not select this backdrop by mistake. It's locked now. Okay, we got our dark color in the back, so it's time for our neon. I'm going to use type tool. Then you can type whatever you like. It's really tiny now, so let's stretch this up. You can select and modify the color of this font. This will be our leading color for the neon. Something bright. Maybe I will go with yellow in this case. All right. Align to the center even bigger. We can use alignment panel to help ourselves. Okay. Now I should change a font. So let's search for the font I download already. You can type the name of the font over here at the top. And here it is. Okay, not bad. We got our neon looking font on our text. The backdrop is dark and the text is bright. Let's add a frame to this neon. In my case, I will use this call out speech bubble like shape. Now I got the same fill color as the backdrop, so let's kick that out, add bright color around. We need this color to be bright, so saturation and light up. And the stroke need to be bigger as well. Let's try to align the stroke with the stroke that is used in this font. So it's kind of similar, maybe 10 points in my case. All right, I will modify this shape using smart control points. You can recognize them by orange color. All right, so I'm using this orange points to modify the shape. And here it is, it's what I want. Sharp, sharp call out speech bubble, perfect. Move it a little bit higher like this. All right, there's one problem with this shape, this frame for our neon. The neon glass always got a gap like this. All right, so we need to create a gap for this frame as well. I'm going to convert this to curves. And now using node tool, I will click on this node over here and break this shape, break. And I will add one more node and break it in this position as well. And now we can take this lead to element in between points we break. Take it out, delete, and we got lead to hole in this frame. So it's more like a neon. Got start and end. All right. So that's how you can break the shape to create lead to holes in. Let's add a secondary shape just as decoration, maybe hard shape in my case. It should be aligned with the message from your neon. So when it say ice cream, you should make some little ice cream there. In my case, subscribe, so I put heart shape. One more down here. Okay, and we already know how to make openings in the frame to make space for this additional shape. So I will use the same method. I will use node tool, the white cursor. Click here, break it. Click here, break it and delete unnecessary line in between. And it's gone. All right, and here we already break the shape so you can just move this node over here. All right, so that's our neon. I designed the neon already using 
shapes and text tool and also by breaking the line using node tool so that's my neon sign here and now the hardest part we're going to add glows and styles to all elements so it's actually look like a neon all right so i modify the color as you can see i want to have just three colors okay two more lines maybe above and then below here using pen tool and hold shift for straight line here it is all right so that's the final design right here now we just need to add special effects let's start with the text itself that's the most important element here right so click on the text and then select layer style from here we are ready to apply some styles the most important will be of course outer glow so we want our letters to glow with the light we can pick the color from the text so we got nice starting point and then make it a little bit brighter all right feel free to experiment with sliders we got opacity here size of the glow so feel free to experiment and adjust the effect to your needs next thing we're going to make these letters look like glass tube like neon so i'm adding a little bit of fake 3d on it modifying blending modes here as you can see i use overlay mode for both brightness and shadows all right and maybe inner glow as well so just a little bit of inner glow will do so we got this little glow inside i reduce opacity for that i don't want this to be too hard feel free to experiment with sliders to match the effect with your font with your artboard size it will be a little bit different for different fonts for different sizes here because we got values in pixels as well you can also play with blending mode as well if you change to normal the color will be much stronger all right so that's how we put this nice shiny effect to the text let's save this style we create the styles we can go to style studio over here and let's make a new category for ourselves so add new we can rename that so we know what it is for neon okay and now i can simply click here add from selection i got my text selected and i add new style so i save what i made and it's here i can reuse that if i click on my elements i will apply this style to them as well in this case it's fill the shape with the color because i got my style for the fill color so let's turn our stroke color our lines into proper shapes so i select all and first thing i'm going to do is to convert them to curves i got some smart shapes here select your lines then at the top click layers and then we'll expand strokes so we just turn strokes into normal shapes take a look no more stroke color just fill color so now i can apply the same style i created before for my subscribe text of course i'm going to modify that i want to change the color to the previous one to something pink and also go inside the style properties so i can modify the glow color to match the object color and i will reduce the size this element is much smaller so i want smaller glow as well all right maybe also here for inner glow and for this one i think i'm going to change blending mode for the darker color i cannot really see it. this one on the pink one so let's go for something here at the very top reduce opacity and that's it that's our pink neon line at the top i can of course save this style now from my selection so click here and add from selection 
and I got style number two ready to use. So if I click here and here and here, I can apply the style with one click. I don't need to do it again and again for each object separately. All right. I'm going to delete this little guy, the style number two, and I will redo it. So I'm going to delete this one and I want to make some changes into it first. So I'm going to this hot shape. I decided to make some changes here. So I'm going to modify this color and reduce the size of inner glow. Let's make this shape too white. I need a more saturated color. All right, something more like this one. So remember, experiment with your sliders to match effect with your size, with your shape. All right, and now I will create this style again from this selection. All right, now I can simply apply that by selecting objects and clicking on the style in the style studio. Very handy place to keep your styles. All right, again, for this shape, I will modify the color to orange and then modify the glow as well from pink to orange so I can have like third style from this neon. Much smaller glow, we got this line here. All right, so that's how we add a nice glow to each element in our neon using layer styles. We also save our styles so we can use them later, maybe in different project using Style Studio over here. Let's add the third one here as well. All right, I got two objects selected, so I added twice. I can remove one and I got all three styles I'm using in this project here in the Style Studio so I can reuse them in the future. I'm happy with the neon sign, so I'm going to group all layers. Now right click and group. We can rename this group by double tapping on this layer. All right, it's all in one folder now. So it's easy to align to the center like this. I think we need to search for some texture for our backdrop. So I'm going to use built-in stock panel here. Search for bricks so I can get a free texture directly from within Affinity Designer. All right, I will just drag and drop this search result here. That's really huge texture, so I'm going to resize that, zoom out, and just using the cursor to resize, using move tool to resize this texture to fit my artboard. Now I can cut out unnecessary pixels, right click and trim and rasterize. All right, so now this texture fit my artboard. We can go back, we can zoom back by pressing command zero. Put it in between the neon and dark backdrop. We can reduce opacity here, but also ch we can change the blending mode. So how this texture will blend with the color below. Luminosity will only blend the texture without taking any colors from it. So I kind of thinking this would be the best way in this case so we are just using a texture without the colors we're using the color from the layer below we create before all right let's reduce opacity so we got the soft brick texture in the background we can rename this layer that's kind of good habit all right we can lock the texture as well so we will not select it by mistake one more final layer for our project but before that, as you can see, I can modify the whole group now. I just use move tool to add some modification to make some changes to my whole neon. That's the easy way when everything is grouped together. All right, and here's the final layer. Rectangle tool, I don't need stroke, but I need the fill color. Let's start with the black. Now I will 
use gradient tool here in the center. I need to reverse colors and change the type of the gradient to radial. So it's like circle shape, as you can see. All right, let's modify the brighter color to match the color from the neon. So my main color for this neon is yellow. So this will be warm color like this. Too strong in my opinion. Let's make it a little bit brighter. Okay, and now the dark color, I want to just add some noise to it, some texture to it. Cool, let's modify the blending mode to overlay. And this way we create this kind of spotlight layer at the top to make the contrast much higher. And the edge of the image will be much darker, like we got this neon light in the center and everything at the edge is darker. All right, that's nice. We can, of course, move around and modify the gradient after we apply changes to blending mode as well, as you can see. You can experiment with the opacity slider to match this spotlight with your neon. And that's it. We can, of course, rename this layer. And we are done. Here's our neon. We create this neon using type tool and different shapes. All is editable and we save three different layer styles for later so we can reuse them in next project. All right, guys, thank you for learning with me today and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye bye.